Yes, yes, hello, welcome back to another episode of the Your Friend Network. I'm your host, Alex Tia, where I basically tell you things that you probably won't care about in the future. So let's just get started with this episode. Enjoy. First, I would like to talk about a tiger in the Bronx Zoo, four years old, named Nadia. It has contracted the coronavirus, and this is the first time that an animal has contracted the coronavirus, so this is very big news. Uh, the tiger is said to be okay. It's supposed to recover, hopefully, from it, and I think others tested for it. I'm not sure, but hey, this isn't a reliable news channel, so. Basically, all I wanted to say about that is now animals are contracted the COVID-19 virus, so this world is really going to shit right now. Moving on to the entertainment side of things of what we have left of entertainment right now in the world, the MCU universe is pushing back phase four, including the TV shows that will be airing on Disney Plus streaming services. The close the closest things you guys have coming up in the MCU universe is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier in August, the WandaVision TV show in December, and we also have the Black Widow movie premiering this fall, November 6th, supposedly. Supposedly. I, I have no idea if this is true. This is just the picture I found on the internet. The internet's not that reliable, right? But yes, this is very sad. A lot of Marvel fans out there are probably devastated by this news. I'm a huge Marvel fan myself. I do like the movies. Uh, I probably should watch some of them with all this time that I have. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Next up, I want to start a new segment on the show called The Social Media Wreck. Rec is short for recommendations. I just do not like saying the word recommendations. I think it's so long and it's not worth my time. Social media rec, so what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna suggest to you guys new music to listen to, people to follow, or movies to watch, TV shows to binge. And today I have a very special person I would really suggest you guys following during these trying times of being in quarantine, Michael Rappaport or however you say his last name, I just do not care. Despite not being able to say his last name, I do enjoy his content, and his social media is hilarious. He is on Instagram, he is on Twitter, he does have a podcast. He makes hilarious videos about being inside, which, you know, is very serious. You should be inside and be quarantining yourselves. But if you ever just need to get a laugh and you wanna just agree with somebody, go check out his videos. He is the man, he is hilarious, and it makes my day. Michael Rappaport, or however you say your last name. If you're watching this, thank you for your content. Now let's take a little mid-episode break and let's go to Alex with the weather. Well, as you can see here, Alex, the sun is out and it's- Thank you, Alex, for that very brief and short weather report. Let's go to sports. The NBA has inducted three players to the Hall of Fame, including Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, and Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant did pass away earlier this year. It's very sad. A lot of people looked up to him. A lot of people were affected by his tragic death, including the others on the helicopter. This is a little brief reminder that life is short and that we should not take what we have for granted. We should cherish the people we love. We should cherish the people that we have. You never know when life's gonna be taken away. Not to sound morbid, but you know, there is kind of a pandemic going on, so how morbid is morbid. Well, that was a great time talking about sports, was it not? Let's end this episode by talking about local businesses. And what I mean by that is because we're in quarantine, local businesses such as pizzerias, diners, and whatnot are open and most of them are doing takeout or pickup or delivery or whatever. I don't know, there's many different options. There's like two. What am I talking about? But yeah, I had Chris's diner the other day and my mom got takeout and it was delicious. And I'm glad I could still support them. I love Chris's diner very much. And yeah, you should all support local businesses around you where you live if you can. You know, we're all people. We should support each other and love each other. But we're people, so we can't do that and we suck at communicating. Well, that's it for this episode of the Your Friend Network. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you would like to see more of. Subscribe, put on those post notifications, follow me on social media. I know I uploaded this on a Monday and I said I would upload on Fridays, but I feel like the people deserve to hear the shittiest news whenever they can. You may have enjoyed this episode, but will you really care about the news that I just gave you? You'll probably forget about it in the next 20 minutes, but we'll see. But again, yes, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I will see you guys next time with a new episode of the Your Friend Network. Stay safe, wash your hands, peace.